In the fourth DC application of a RLC network, we are going to see how a automobile ignition circuit works. The principle of automobile ignition circuit based, is based on the fact that inductor always oppose a rapid change in current, which make them useful for generating arc and a spark. Now, an automobile ignition system take advantage of this feature. The gasoline engine of an automobile requires that the fuel-air mixture in each cylinder be ignited at proper times. This is achieved by a means of a spark plug, which essentially consists of a pair of electrode separated by an air gap. By creating a large voltage, around 1000 of volts, between the electrode, a spark is formed across the air gap and thereby igniting the fuel. But the main question is, how can such a large voltage be obtained from the car battery which supply only 12 volts? This is achieved by a means of an inductor. Since the voltage across the inductor is given by the expression V equals to L times dy by dt, we can make dy by dt very large by creating a large change in current in a very short time. When the ignition switch is closed, the current through the inductor increase gradually and reach a steady state. At a steady state, I is constant and inductor voltage V is also zero. When the switch is suddenly open, a large voltage is developed across the inductor due to rapidly collapsing field, causing a spark or arc in the air gap. The spark continues until the energy stored in the inductor is dissipated in the spark discharge. In order to get a feel how this inductor develop, can develop a very large voltage, you can go through this example. Suppose switch takes 1 microsecond to open and we let R equals to 4 ohm, L equals to 6 milli henry and V is equals to 12 volt. Then you put this number into the formula which is V equals to L di by dt, you will get something 18 kilovolt which is very large and enough to generate a spark between this air gap. So next time when you work in laboratory with inductive circuit you should be very cautious because this circuit can cause a very nasty shock.